Hello there, everybody. <clears throat> How are you all doing today? Hopefully, you're all doing great. Time for some more Final Fantasy uh, 16. Looking forward to it. As always, I'm always hyped to be playing Final Fantasy 16. Now, you guys know me. I like the game a lot. <clears throat> I like the game a lot. In fact, I like the game quite a lot. Um, go ahead and unmute you. Yeah, and I'm very, very into the game. Very, very excited to keep playing. Very, very happy to keep playing. Um, etc., etc. It's just a fun game. All right, that, that's really what it comes down to. It's just a fun, fun video game. Hold on. Yeah, should be good. All right. So, player save number four. We've only saved like four times. Hmm. Well. I don't have we? I guess we would have. I guess it kind of makes sense. Excuse me. Sorry. Been drinking a little bit of, um, which one call it? Been drinking a little bit of, uh, Canada Dry. There you go, ginger ale. Because my stomach has been a little bit off for the past couple of days. Uh, so I figured, you know, drink a little bit of Canada Dry. Got some water too, of course. But I might drink a little bit of that during the stream. I fear that the old road to Phoenix Gate was lost to the blight many years ago. Have care out there, both of you. Yes, yeah, so we just got our new drip and we're heading to Phoenix Gate. Uh, should be very nice. We're in a new town with a new shop. I uh, don't think much will be in there, mind. But, eh, you know, still worth a look. Of course, we gotta explore like the overall area too, right? It seems like a nice little town, though. Although I do find it a little bit weird how all the scarecrows are just BB. Cause BB ain't that scary, is he? I don't. Know, I've never played nine, so I guess I wouldn't really know. I should. I should actually play nine sometime. I will. Well, I will do it when. I'm... Hey, doggo. Look at him. I mean, he's not he's not a Torgal, but like he's vibing. Um, whenever I actually, actually for real Z's get around to doing my full Final Fantasy series playthrough on YouTube. Well, aren't you dressed up smart, especially for a bearer. Proper little prince you look. Uh, if only you knew, old lady. Ah, I can't go through the clothes. Ah, it's lame. I do like our new drip. Our new drip is really, really good. And I don't know, man. In terms of glam and, like, fashion fantasy, I mean, the sword is pretty good. I don't know if I'd want to get rid of it. You guys know me. I, I play for fashion, not always for what's better. Although what's better usually does look quite nice. Not bad at all. So I knew they'd hide a lot of chests all over the place. Don't ask me why, but there's something telling me, you know, that there would be goodies like hidden all over the place. And so far, that's been pretty accurate. I'm just gonna move this just a smidgen closer. All right. Yeah, they really hit them all over the place, didn't they? A lot of gobby coins. So what can gobby coins do? Hold on. I don't think I've actually checked. I assume it's um like a proper item. Like a material. Yeah. Economists are wont to argue that currency-based commerce is a cornerstone of civilization. If true, this coin would suggest the goblins are far more civilized than humankind gives them credit for. Or perhaps that humankind is rather less civilized than we presume. Not so we've got anywhere else to go. Um, yeah, because this way is just towards the farm, right? Yeah, yeah, we don't need to go there. Okay, let's have a look at the shop and see what they got there. What do you have to say? Where are you off to then? Or hasn't your master told you? Either way, I expect our humble village and your final destination. Tis not, not tis not. Oh. 
Take that tower. Relic hmm? of the Fallen it is. Ah, yeah. Must have stood there a thousand years. And in all that time, no one's ever been inside. Mysterious, eh? Hmm, what are the odds that we go inside of that? Like, what are the odds? Anything take your fancy? Yeah, Gaia Blade, no, no, no. Literally, all these are going to be worse now by, like, a decent amount. Oh, maybe not this one, though. Rook's Gambit. Which one's that again? Meteorite, Valley Mutter. Melody seems familiar, See eh? Okay, wait, so which one's uh, Rook's Gambit? That's the one that you counter with, isn't it? Let me see. Oops, wrong one. Yeah, probably. Okay, we'll make way to Phoenix Gate. Uh, may as well. Do I have a little short sword? That's kind of sick, actually. I wonder if I'm going to get to use that. It's probably just decoration. You. Those are Elwins. Indeed. Flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons There you go. That's a dead giveaway right there. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers? And say, uh, does he do he have any? Or are they like bearers of the family? Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastport. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary and never returned. Aye, the plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved, and they. I've been saying that wrong this whole time. Home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded. We knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. Understandable, I'd say. Now you want to give them to me. Just them to sit hideaway. By right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. Huh? What's that? If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. Mm, okay. I don't ask that you take him into your service, only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. I mean, that seems more than fair enough. Thank you, my lord. 
he sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Back in the day. This finer man is my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Clive needs to kind of just you know, come to terms that... Uh, what was I going to say? He needs to kind of come to terms with like... That... Uh, he is probably a lot like his father. He's not like a bad person despite what he's done, you know? It's not like he did it on purpose. Like what he's done, it, like what he did was intentional or anything. It's a not the realistic not struggle, him. actually. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It will be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Hey, you. Have you seen an old man? Well, no. Unfamiliar faces. What brings you to East Ball, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? No, you're just friends. Yeah, in a way. Yeah, sure, you can say well, that too. It's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. The capital is in Rosaria, I guess. Okay, it makes sense. Though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. And I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either, though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Yeah, T.Y. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. Fantasy feasts. I'm sorry. Oh, he worked in the mm. kitchens at Rosalith Castle. Mm. Okay. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream, he is. But better mm. there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceregent stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. Interesting. So he's a little bit loony. So I wonder if it's going to be someone we know. Oh, I wonder, actually. Hey, Could it... Hmm. Hold on a mo. Oh. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper, might know where he is. He's taking the old bird under his wing, so to speak. Hold Maybe on a mo. Stables. You should go and have a word with them. Patrick, the chocobo keeper. Thank you. We will. You know, I wonder if maybe it's going to be the same guy that we ran into when we were a young child. I think it probably has to be. Right. Let's head for the stables. So I feel like it's probably someone we know. Or at least have seen. I don't know, though. It's just a thought. Bloody hell's he got to? Hey, troubled youth. Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... 
And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Hmm. And that's our story. Ah, so that's how it is. See, so he gets it. Well, then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Me, on the other hand. Russ, on the other hand, I should say. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. <laughs> Let's just concentrate on finding him. Hmm. Well, I have the ability to swing my sword now, so I'm assuming he's gotten himself into some trouble. Probably. I am speed. Ah, up here, yeah. I figured something would happen here. Look, there's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. Yeah, it probably is. Bees, bees. We can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. Alright, let's do some slaying. Oh, mud dauber. They're not even just bees, they're a different enemy. Um. I was gonna hope. Uh, I was hoping it would let me hit it. Our new enemies are first. Our organs now, of course. Okay, I want to get better at the magic burst. Okay, I think I'm getting it down. Oh, dudes, hell yeah, sick. Enemy slain. That wasn't too bad, actually. That's pretty easy. I thought there was going to be like a big boy that I'd need to fight like a dragon or something. Don't jump. You could probably survive. Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your grace. You came for me. I guess it's not someone we know. So long that you finally came. I'm not who you think. Clive. <sighs> Go on, Clive. Be your father. Yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle then? There is still a place for me in the kitchen. Always will be. No, my friend. Oh, okay. I guess that's true. We can't. To the we can't go into his again. delusions. I'm on a very important expedition, one which may take some time. Could you wait for me in Eastpool until my journey is complete? I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Easy enough.
Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. Always happy to help, Mayor. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? <laughs> so quick. bad. I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. There we go. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Make her a noble. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Ladyship. Fare you well, Actually, he is Lord, kind of, my lady. or was I at least. A safe journey. Quest complete. We're getting a lot of money. I should probably buy some potions. But I could hold on to it to buy orchestrian scrolls. Is that it then? No more quests. No more quests. Mm. The Deadlands are aptly named. Yeah, I was gonna say this place I isn't really look that nice. Close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leading the ether from the soil. Oh. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. Where'd that branch no even plants. come from? I guess that no tree animals. above, but still. No life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. Oh, well, allegedly. Allegedly, Jill. Allegedly. This way first. Might be something down this way. Maybe like a treasure or something. Or a mysterious door. I'll take that too. What's this? Another relic of the fallen. Can I open it? Nope. At least not yet. Hmm. So I'll have to be able to open that eventually then. Hmm, I assume. See, I'm curious about these relics. How very elegant of them. We won't be able to use any magic here. Or of the game, I should say. Worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the lad's life force. And problems are all that's left. So we can't use magic here either. I guess that's true. From what I know of the blight. From what the little index thing showed me or told me. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. Mm. Oh, nice. Potion and a high potion. <coughs> oh. Hold on. Give me, give me one sec. I don't have it in my throat there, but it feels like I need me some lattes. Oh, weird. I haven't even been talking that much or straining my voice that much either. The dim obelisk, huh? There it is. Phoenix. 
Pike's Gate. All the memories. Where it all went wrong. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. Mm, that would be really hard. Like going back to where your whole life changed for the worst. And for everybody that you knew, right? Like that would be really hard. Bum, 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 do I have any side quests? No, do, 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 do. Then I guess I'll go right on to Phoenix Gate. Phoenix Gate Ruins, the Imperial Province of Rosaria. It's almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. Ash? Or bone, maybe. Crunched bone. Turn to ash. Ugh, that's very grim. Buried memories. Um... Let me see here. Should we? I mean, we did. No, we did all these. Okay, it's all literally the same stuff. Gotcha. Haven't updated yet. Could I have done this? Could anyone? Damn! Look at that. That's the hole we left. Man, it's so big. You don't really realize how big it is until you see it from like a person's point of view, huh? When you're a big guy, it's like, yeah, it means big, but like, is it really that big? As a person, it's like, holy crap, that's huge. Yule or Azarian standard. What is it, Orgul? Clive. Something amiss? Ah, it is he. That's him. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I, I mean, that's true. Okay, not very much to explore around here, I guess. Fighter gonna? Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. It's like a bloody eel. Yeah, very slippery, I guess. What is this place anyway? Slimy. Some sort of shrine. Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. Mm. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Is it going to open for your Clive now? Would you have gone with him? No. The apology is holy ground. 
None but the Dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Did he go in Perhaps through the gate? Inside. But how? He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Mm. That's true, you do have the power of the Phoenix. You've been blessed. I guess that's a good point. Because, like, the Phoenix has the power, but he has a bit of the Phoenix within him. So, I guess it kind of makes sense that he would be able to open the door. Man, that's pretty. Man, I wish I had a door like that in real life. Have turn all blue. Joshua. Turn all blue, raise up, glow. I'm sure about this. Nevermore. Where's Torgal? What happened to Torgal? I assume he came with us, but man, I didn't see him in the cutscene. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, now this definitely has to have a thing here. Yeah, it does. Not not the one I thought it would, but it does. The remains of the fortress destroyed in the year 860 on what became came to be known as the Night of Flames. The castle's invasion by San San Brequa assassins and the battle between the two icons of fire that arose in its wake. Ancient ruins lie beneath and are reached by means of an underground pathway. Prior to Rosaria becoming an imperial province, the gate was of great importance to the people of the duchy, being the site of the rite of ancestral communion. Hmm. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. So is, it, so is this going to give me the power to open up the gates then? Like all of them. This place really be a fallen ruin. Across the world. I'd hardly call it a ruin. And look at it. Perfect. Like it was built yesterday. See, somewhere in this water, I'm willing to bet there's a giant squid floating around. Have you ever seen anything like this? Very convenient. Very convenient. Oh. Hmm. So what are these? Machines? Yeah. Like mechanic spiders? I mean, I'd be more okay with that than I would be with real spiders. Fallen bug, huh? It's like, wait a minute, I cut just to a black screen. Like, that's a bit strange, but it makes sense. More trouble. I see. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is definitely a reference to like elegant technology in 14. Oh, damn it, I, I went to dodge. I should take out the defense node. Play soccer or baseball. Oh, you can kind of get it. I kind of got it. There we go. 
Hold on, someone grab this. There you go, she's fine. How can these things still function? How can any of this? This must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. Very pretty too, dude. I would live here. I would live inside these ruins. Well, and I need a place to plug in my video games, so maybe not. I would take the doors though. The doors would be cool. Okay, I, I was I wasn't too sure when it was gonna start shooting. Um there you go, just bring everybody in. Yep, that'll do. Ooh, an, an elegant like chest. Do I have a map here? No? So what's the button to give me Torgal vision? Oops. Uh, is that this one? Yeah. So it wants me to go that way, does it? Well, in that case, then we'll go this way instead. Or is this where I came in? Nah, that's where I came in. Nah, that's where I came in. Okay, then. Never mind. For some reason, I thought I had two exits, but I did not. Man. This is a really beautiful, it's a really beautiful, like, set for the game. Ooh, a big boy. You're going to be one I can stagger, yep. Looks like you can take a beating. Then let's give it one. Oh, hell yeah. That's fine. Just use it. It'll be fine. I will get it down. Ooh, ouchies. So we're nailing it. We're doing not too bad. I mean, I'm not doing it quite as well as I would have liked, but we're doing okay. Okay, we, we managed. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. We're doing so good up until he just hit me a couple times there. Then it's like, oh, I lost half my health now. Okay, that'll do, that'll do. Oh, wrong button. Wrong baton, wrong baton. So yeah, we'll, we'll try to end it in a cool way. It's not very cool. That's also not very cool. My wounds, boy. Okay, well, it's cool enough. Let's find the hooded man and leave. It's cool enough, and we got some health back. I'll take it. Favor of wind, gouge. I mean, that might be worth it. That might be worth it. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, because 
gear. I don't really need this one. I like that one's fine, but I don't, I'd rather have favor of wind, like favor of like gouge, you know, like the gouge up because I'm using gouge a decent amount. Can I go back? All right. I thought I could. I'm not like I really need to. I don't think I missed anything, but. You guys are very tiny. Oh, your oh, your bombs. Whatever they are, I don't think they're friendly. First time seeing a bomb cry. Hold on. I wasn't close enough. Eh, it's fine. Getting bigger. A little help. That'll help. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Okay, mortal blow. Let's just finish this one off, I think. Easy. Easy. Did not I don't even think any of them exploded. What do we have here? Would Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too? No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Uh, potentially. I, I guess it might. Okay, so what's this dealie? There's a lot of little glowies on the platform. Here we go again. All right. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hell bent on murdering us, I expect. This kind of gives me have taken this path. the same vibe. Until we followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. This kind of gives me the same vibe as a cloister of trials from FF10. Uh, from FF10. Gives me the same kind of feeling. This won't be easy. Too early. Oh my god, way too early. Yeah, I'm hitting I'm hitting way too early. Here, here I, I gotta do this one early. I gotta just hit it early so I get some of my health back. I don't. I will use some of my healing items if I need to, but I'd rather not. I should probably just heal. Yeah, high potion up. I even use a skin tonic. Yeah, it's fine. Man, I was so good at dodging this guy in the beginning. Now I'm blowing it like entirely. And then I'm not actually trusting myself. Wait. You didn't say bail. Um okay, let me think here. What's the what's the best way for me to deal with this? Cause we have the chaff as well. Okay, hold on. We do that. That should deal damage to a lot of them. Oh god. 
Okay, right, just hit it. Okay, so I, I managed somehow. Oh, I just hit it. I need my health back anyway. It's over. Let's go. Okay, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I do wonder what kind of boss is going to be the end of this, though. Oh, did I, set, did I turn myself around? I, I guess I did. Now, there really is a gauntlet, isn't there? Ah, uh, next hit this. There you go, just combo it. Oh, I see bombs up there. They're coming in. Take care of the little bugs first, I think. If you can combo it, then that's great, of course. Okay, hold up, hold up. I don't, I don't need the Groot as a win. Oh God. I don't trust it. Like I could probably finish it, but I don't think it's worth it. Oh, see, that's interesting. So you can tell on the inside, they're the little ball things still. They're like the little defense nodes. It's interesting. Hmm. That's interesting that that's what they're deciding to do with the bombs in this game. Will wind. Rick's Gambit. Uh, yeah, Rick's Gambit, yeah. So I have like two things for Rick's Gambit? Yeah, the Bloodhawk and, and this one. Oh, wait, no. No, never mind. I thought I thought I had one for a scam, but I guess I don't. Hmm. It might be. I thought I did. I mean, obviously I'm wrong, but still. Final challenge, or is it gonna be the hooded man? I don't like this. AKA probably Joshua. Oh no, who's this? Or what's this? Oh, it's one of these things. Ah, it's cool. That's really cool. Seems the feelings mutual. Another staple of Final Fantasy enemies. The Iron Giant, yeah, that's what it's called. Ooh. Okay, I thought he was gonna do more. Ooh. Come on, big boy. There you go, not bad. Hey, kitty, welcome back to the stream. How you doing today, friendo? Hopefully you're doing great. Oh. 
that was a good unintentional dodge. Oh, Lord. Push it. There you go. We're doing it. We're nailing it. We're doing pretty good on the stagger damage, actually. That'll do. That'll do. Not today, big boy. There you go. That should get him down. Yeah. Decent damage, decent. Let's hit him with the aerial blast. I get, the problem with this is I can't really see anything. Small price to pay. Press the attack. So they're doing this kind of mechanic in here too. That's interesting. Cause this is another Final Fantasy 14 thing. What's well, an MMO thing, I guess. Where it's basically it's a big DPS rush. That's interesting. I like that. I'm speaking for the attack. Okay, I thought, I thought I was gonna miss that one. I thought we were gonna miss. Okay, I missed that one. But he missed that one too, so it all worked out. Okay, I wanna get him down. All right, that'll do. That'll do, that'll do. And I just slam right into him. Yeah, not much stagger damage, but it'll do, it'll do. Yeah, we can't see him, but that's fine. We can we can assume. Just like that, yeah. There you go. Just end him. Interesting. Iron Giant dismantled. That's what I like to hear. Ooh. Alright. Cyber kind of uh, responding a little bit late. That fight. I uh, just pretty good, pretty hype. Yes, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. How are you doing? Do anything fun today? Hopefully you did. Farewell, Iron Giant. No sequels for you. I'm just gonna take me a little sip of Canada Dre. It's done. What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? Hmm. They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Is it him? Jill. The hooded figure? The hooded man? Are we finally gonna have a confrontation between these two? No, we're not. Okay, never mind. Kitty says, I've been playing RimWorld. Awesome, I need to play that. Is that some kind of mural? It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. 
Kind of looks like Garuda or something. Yeah, I, I need to play Rim World. In fact, I even need to get back to playing Dwarf Fortress. Too many games to play. It's a very first world problem struggle, but it is a struggle. For me, at least. Then just cooking, another one of my favorite things to do. So addictive is Grim World. Grim World seems like it would be. Yeah, I really do need to play it. And yes, there probably would be streams of it, or at least recordings of it if I did. It, it seems like one of those kind of games that works really well for it. That's what I was gonna say. So the Iron Giant wasn't the big boss of this. It's this guy. Oh, no, it's not. He's a lich, though. Yeah, I need to do the magic counter on that one. Okay, we'll lock on to this guy. Okay, that, that's fine. Going well. I'll be small enough. Duresh. Oh, yeah, it works. That works. Okay, I don't really care. I'm looking cool as hell. There we go. Let's look extra cool. I don't think this finishes him. Nah, it shouldn't. Actually, I don't think I can finish him while he's staggered. Even if I do this. Oh, maybe if I do this. Nah, it's not gonna do it. Cool, I managed. Sure, I'll take it. What the hell was that thing? It wasn't like the others. All right. It would seem this place holds even more secrets than we thought. That's interesting. So, Kitty, what do you like about Rim World? I'm just kind of curious. What's uh, what about it makes you go, damn, this game pretty cool? Man, maybe I should stream Dwarf Fortress sometime. That way you guys can see me be awful at it. I'm still not good at Dwarf Fortress. I'm still pretty craptacular. Oh, is this where I need to go? Oh, yeah, I need to go this way. I need to go this way. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely Garuda, isn't it? Hmm. Also, what are you cooking? Didn't even think to ask. Howdy, Spectres. That'll do. That was pretty alright. 